Yeah, talking about people watching streams and building a stream. I subscribed to the Twitch subreddit and it's like every couple days there's some like Twitch doesn't help small streams and I've been working for years and there's nothing I can do on a <sighs> I want to do a, at some point it would be, I, I feel like I should be bigger than this to do that, but in the future, when we hit the big time, doing some lecture series on building a stream and stuff, some of it is kind of harsh, but the thing that's helped me a lot for con keeping the product consistently engaging is having a supremely high value on my viewers time supremely high value because what have you got here are some facts there are tons of awesome shows you could watch there are heaps of amazing films that you could browse you could be on reddit reading some stuff you could read a scholarly journal you could be going out and playing pokemon go you could be playing a video game you could be doing some work you could be doing all kinds of activities so for you to watch my stream is a big choice that keeps my business going and I need to be aware of that I don't want to waste your time because I value your time and I realize there are tons of other streams you could watch too and they're doing a good job in some ways so if I want to grow I have to not only do what other people at my tier are doing, I have to exceed that in some ways. I have to give the viewer a clear reason for why they would browse my webpage instead of someone else's webpage. Which is a big choice, because you've got good streams out there, with nice communities, with people who've got skills, people who interact with the chat, they read the chat. You've got to fight for each viewer. It is competitive. We try to be nice. But it's not about networking, like posting your stream places. Fuck that, dude. That's whoever said that you've got to like spam your channel or like try to get it out there and tell people to support. No. 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 Stop it. The best way to market yourself is to be online and show good content that's fun and engaging and interesting and vibrant in some ways you've got to put tons of time in if you're putting in less time than the competition you have to compensate for that with quality you have to that's the only other thing quality and quantity you need both and one of my goals when i was trying to go for twitch partner was to be online more than any other starcraft broadcaster because that gave me a clear and obvious edge i'm just online more so I catch follows, and I catch hosts, and that kind of thing. So when you get someone posting some grumpy post about not being famous fast enough, and that Twitch is just benefiting the top and all this, it's upsetting to me. Because in a way, it kind of devalues the, the work that happens before someone gets famous. Because I bet we have some, some old school people. I know Nightmare, so he's my brother. But... I started out with just me and Nightbot. That was the beginning. I didn't have shit. Most people who are big, they started from small. They did. But they, they do, they're doing something. And yes, if you're at the top, there is a sort of magnetism where you do get more. But you've got to be creative about it. And you've got to work heckin' hard. You have to work hard, like harder than the other people. Some people, they just flip on a stream and they're like, I think I'm smart and interesting and fun to talk to. So if I stream, that means that people will just flock to my broadcast and I'll be famous. It's not just, it's not just about if you think you're funny and interesting. It's not, I'm sorry. I think I'm funny and fun to be around. Uh, yeah, I, I think I'm a fun person. Okay, good. You have self-esteem. So 
Self-esteem does not equal business. That's not how a business is, is founded. Oh yeah, so I had an idea for a business. What's your idea? Oh, well, um, I'm pretty talented and like clever and smart. So I thought that I would just like open up a shop, you know, and, and people are going to just be buying stuff like hotcakes. Oh yeah, really? That's it? You're just so talented and gifted that everything is just, it's just like a, a huge money vortex is just gonna, there's gonna be money just spilling in through the doors and the windows because of how talented you are. <sighs> Thanks for the follows, people. Ugh. Yeah. Twitch knows. Twitch knows about discoverability. They know about the problem of rich get richer and people at the top. They run the platform. They're around. But one of the flip sides is there's more of a risk in promoting broadcasters who are starting out because they're, there's a ton of them, for sure. But then also they haven't established that reputation and integrity and consistency of quality of content and stuff. So in a way, if they're promoting stuff that isn't as polished, that reflects more poorly on the company. And companies, for their survival, they have to look out for, th for themselves and stuff. So, sorry, I just... <laughs> I get consistently upset by this kind of thing, and that's my opinion on it. <laughs>